All right, gonna save you a ton of time and a ton of hassle. Gonna show you exactly how to optimize your SEO plugins so you can rank number one, just like this example site right here, which we're gonna use in this video. I want you to know that what I'm showing you actually works, and this website is ranked number one partly because of this. And also, not only is this website number one, but it's extremely ugly. And I do this on purpose to show people that it's not about how your website looks, it's about how you optimize your website. And optimizing your SEO plugin is a huge part of how you're going to rank number one. I've been doing this for over 20 years. I've been using my SEO plugins the same way over those 20 years, optimizing them exactly how I'm about to show you right now. Let's first talk about which SEO plugin do you want to use. Some of the most popular options are Yoast SEO, All-in-One SEO, and Rank Math SEO. There's also tons of others, and when it comes down to it, which one should you use? It really doesn't matter because most of the bells and whistles inside these SEO plugins are completely useless, especially things like SEO scores and readability scores, because then you put this on a client website and they see low scores and wonder why their SEO score isn't that great. You always have to all obviously kind of pre, <laughs> pre tell these clients these things so they don't freak out when they see them and they'll, they'll believe you once you start ranking much better later on. So everything pretty much in this plugin I don't use besides one little thing. If, it was, if they could just dumb down these plugins into this one thing, I would just use it for that. But unfortunately, they come with lots of bells and whistles, which you just don't need to use, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you the couple things that I do use when it comes to these SEO plugins. So let's go to the main one right now, and I'm gonna to go to Pages. And this shows just all the pages I have on this website, which, wow, I have you know five whole pages to rank this website number one for Nashville SEO. And we can go to any of these as an example. So let's just go to the web design page. Now, once we load this page, I'm gonna scroll down to the Yoast SEO section. Once you install a plugin like Yoast SEO, it will usually appear down below whatever page or post you're working on. And then as we scroll down here, there's gonna be some, some important stuff that we wanna look at, okay? So what's cool is you can often, often preview it as mobile and desktop, that's cool to use. Um, if you scroll down here, they got some other options they got some good advanced options down here that you can use for certain things, which we'll cover in just a minute. But I want to cover the main thing that I use this plugin for, okay? The main thing that I use this plugin for is this right here, the SEO title, okay? Now, if I click here, this is where we put our SEO title in. Now, this is your title tag for the page. See, the problem is without an SEO plugin, your title will basically be your H1 tag, okay? Now, if your title is your H1 tag, well, then you have an H1 tag that also matches your title tag, and Google doesn't really like that these days. They like a variation. So I usually use my H1 tag as something more general or an LSI version of my title tag, and then for my title, tag I put in something very specific that I want to rank for and I'll give you examples just in case that sounded like Chinese to you I understand we have some beginners that watch these videos so if I want to rank this page for Nashville web design well that's going to be my title of my page okay something along those lines so I'll say something like something like the best Nashville web design company for now I'm going to show you another trick with this plugin right here if you do a percent sign, a percent sign, and then do current year, and then percent sign, percent sign, it's gonna automatically put in the year for you. But what's cool is once the year changes, once we go to 2026 or 2027, it's gonna automatically update that in your titles. So that's super important for just, whenever you put years in your titles for, future dates where it's going to automatically update you don't have to go back and change it a lot of times you'll forget and if you don't put it this way you have old dates appearing which is going to lower your click-through rate which is going to not really help your rankings or people just coming through your traffic you're, you're or through, through your site you're gonna get less traffic right so this is how you want to structure the the title you want to get your main keyword in there Right, with some variations if you can. Like for example, I would like to rank for Nashville Web Design, Nashville Web Design Company, Best Nashville Design Company, Web Design Company 2025. That's all gonna be in this title, allowing me to rank for those keywords much easier. Then up here, I'll usually do something like, 
um, something descriptive of what the page is about that still has variations of the keyword in there. So when I said LSI keywords earlier, LSI basically stands for latent semantic indexing, something, I don't know if I said that right, some, something along those lines, which is basically means it's like another way of saying a word, okay? Now, we already said web design, so what's a different version we can have for that? So if I don't know, what I can do is I can go up here and I can do synonym for web design. This can help me find something. You can always do stuff like this. So you, they got graphic design. Oh, we wouldn't want like well, we wouldn't want that. We could do website design, right? So we could do that. So instead of saying web design, website design. So let's do that. So we could do something like we. Whoops. Uh oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's go back up. So let's do we will. create beautiful website design. Now it's a horrible <laughs> descriptor, but I'm just trying to do this quickly to show you. Now we use this as our descriptor, like what the page is about. We have a variation of web design in there. We have website design. And then we have our main keywords in the title tag down here, okay? So, but now what this allows us to do is have complete control of our title. If we just leave web design up here, well, what's going to happen is we have web design in our H1 tag. We then have web design in our title because it, it, without this, this plugin, it just uses your H1 tag as your title. Those match each other, and then that's just not good. You don't, you don't have variations in there. You are kind of increasing your chance of over-optimization. This allows us to pick exactly which title we want and then also have a different H1 tag. Okay. Now, the second thing I use these plugins for is... The meta description, okay? I don't always fill this out. Sometimes I allow Google to automatically populate this themselves, but if you want to put in a meta description, this is a great way to do it. You just put it right here in the meta description field, and that is another great use of these SEO plugins. Now, there is a couple more things that I use this for. And if I scroll down here, I don't use any of this type of stuff, right? You see, you need like premium for this. You need premium for this. You need premium for this. You don't need any of this. You can buy the free versions of these plugins because really all we need, the main thing we need is what I just showed you. There is some advanced things I'm going to show you right now that we can use this for. So sometimes I will scroll down here and go to the advanced section and use this right here. Sometimes I don't want a page to index for whatever reason. So this is a good way to just say, no, I don't want this page in the index of the search results. This is a little more advanced. Most of you will not do this. You'll want to use this to yes. But sometimes if I'm creating like a pay-per-click page or I'm just doing some testing, sometimes I will say no and have this page not index. Just a very easy way to do that. But for most of you beginners, you want to choose this. You want to choose yes and just leave it at this option. Another advanced option that I use this for is canonical URL. Sometimes you'll have two pages that are very similar and you want, the, you want to put the page that you want to rank for canonical URL. So for example, if I have another page on, page on web design, this is kind of what the, like not my main one. Well, I'll put my main web design page here and Google then knows that's your canonical URL. And that's about as confusing as these plugins get. Now, you don't need to know this stuff. This is all very advanced. I obviously didn't use it on this website. I didn't use Canonical, didn't use the no index thing because I didn't need to. That's very rare occurrences in more advanced uh, situations. What I use this for, this plugin, all I used it for was controlling my titles, okay? You see my title right here, Nashville SEO, we dominate the competition. Well, right there, that's my title that I set. Let's go to that page so I can show you. So let's go back to WordPress. We're going to leave and let's go to our home page. Now you'll see these, you'll see everything line up here. Look, welcome to Nashville SEO. That is my H1 tag, which appears right here. If I didn't have my SEO plugin installed, my title would come up as welcome to Nashville SEO. That's not what I want. Okay. When I go search from Google, Nashville SEO, we're ranked number one. I don't want my title to say, welcome to Nashville SEO. I want to say something that is going to get people to click, right? But also that has my keywords in there. So what I used was Nashville SEO, we dominate the competition. Why did I choose this? Well, it has my main keyword in there, but it also has we dominate the competition in there, which is gonna help get people to click. They're gonna say, well, these guys are ranking number one. They obviously do dominate the competition. 
I'm going to check them out. And that's the whole idea behind the title. Get keywords in there, but also try to get people to click on your listing. Now, if we go back to this page, you'll see if I scroll down, my SEO title is right here. Okay, I put it right here. That's why it's showing up as the title in the search engine listings. Nashville SEO, we dominate the competition right here. Nashville SEO, we dominate the competition because that is what I put in for my SEO title. Again, if I didn't have this SEO plugin installed, it would just automatically put this as my title. Not only is that bad in a sense of, because that's not what I want, that's bad in a sense because then your H1 tag matches your title tag and you just don't want that to happen. There's no reason for that to happen. Now, if I scroll down, we'll see that I didn't even put in a meta description here. So I didn't put in a meta description. I like Google to fill that out automatically. It's not something you have to use. The main thing that you use these plugins for is this right here. And it's really that simple, okay? Without this, it would be much harder for me to rank number one for Nashville SEO. And that is really all you need to do when you're using these SEO plugins. Don't worry about all this other crap that they have in these SEO plugins. They have SEO scores and the readability stuff and the, the what, what else they got? Uh, first time configuration. Um, if we go to settings, there's tons of different settings in here, tons of tools. You know, you got connections and but like, yeah, there is advanced stuff you can use this for that might be a little helpful, but when it comes to SEO, the title control is the main thing we are after. Those other little things I showed you, I think are like the other couple things that really matter the most. There might be other little things here and there, but before you have clients and you install these plugins, make sure they know that we are not going off the SEO analysis or the readability analysis of these plugins. These are just machines that don't understand exactly what we need. They just kind of make estimates and you need to frame clients before so they don't freak out when they see those scores. All right, so hopefully this helps you with your SEO plugin use. Stop worrying about which one you're using and what does what and what settings you need. The biggest thing you need to do is control your titles, and that's what matters most when it comes to SEO. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you soon.